Well, okay, my friends, just out today, they're showing pictures. These are visualizations of photons captured in real time. You see this? These are holographic reconstructions. These are not actual pictures. I'm showing the real pictures. Now, you see these three different colors? Or, well, actually, they're showing four. The red, blue, and the green primarily are the colors of the different photons. But those are different energies. They're not all built into one photon. This is not correct. And they're talking about wave functions. All right, this is all about wave functions. Well, let me show you. I know a little bit about the wave function, and it's just nonsense. You see these little squiggly looking things? Those are wave function symbols. Now, you see all these little squiggly things? Those are wave functions. Now look at this. This there's not a human being alive could ever make any sense of any of this. Quantum physics, a wave function or represents by the Greek letter, which I just showed you, is a quantum state. It, they, they had no idea. It's all about probabilities. It's just it's it's all nonsense. Absolute total nonsense. I did all this stuff. The historical background is it's just crazy. Now, who's going to do this? Who's, who is going to do this and get any value from this whatsoever? Look at this. Look at this. Momentum, spave, waves, function, da 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 And I, did, I tried to make sense of this. It makes no sense at all. It, the only reason it makes sense is because somebody can say, oh, look at all this gobbledygook I wrote down, and I'm a genius for, for making up all this nonsense. And I'm telling you, that's, that's what physics has become. It's total nonsense, and you're a genius. It, the more nonsense you can make up, the more genius you are. Look at this. Look at all this nonsense. Who, who, this is absolutely ridiculous. Beyond ridiculous. Total nonsense. I show you. Oh, man. This just drives me crazy. Every time I think about what I was put through. Like, because this is nothing. This is just the tip of the iceberg. This is, I had, I mean, I went through every different possible, everything. All the way through the chemistry, thermodynamics, light, bonding, resonance, all the different forces and attractions and bonding and energies and all the different chemistry, periodicity and... <laughs> It goes on and on and on, and you're still talking these nonsense wave functions out here. It's all over the place, but they meant, meant absolutely nothing. All it was was something to make somebody, here, here, because light energy, frequencies, velocities, wavelengths, momentum, structure. And I, and I came out with the fact that everything was a dipole. There was no such thing as, as a... Uh, just a solid positive core just didn't exist although now it almost is that way although the solid positive core is not one big solid positive proton with a couple little quarks it's 1823 dipoles that's the difference all right this is their best guess at entangled photons they know that the laser beam coming through they put a crystal, all it is is a resistance, which sheds, creates electron showers, and the muon stays sterile. They say these are entangled photons, and they'll always come back to that same particle. That is not correct, not even close to correct. They leave and they go anywhere they want. These are the two particles that make up a photon, only there's four of them. There's a set, and then another set, back to back. Two dipoles. Each one of them would be considered an electron. We never know the black part was there. The black part is just was unknown. That's dark matter. <laughs> That's why they never saw it. Because it's always seen with white surrounding it. It always goes to the center. And so in the, but, but when you get down into the light realm, where there is no center anymore, there's no nucleus, it's all you have is particles, then you can see it. And we separated it out using a high-speed Venturi to create the particle acceleration. Here it is right here, accelerating. And then it exploded here at the Venturi. And the black separated from the white. 
That's fission and fusion. And here's exactly what they say. Muon, electron, neutrino is the black and the white. The muon goes all by itself and that creates the showers. They would say that's the entangled photon. No. It's just the white part, the energetic part. The black part is, the, is just a bowling ball. It's a, it's a fixed particle. And that is the, the energetic particle. That has the field. You see how this one's getting puffy and that one's getting small? That's because it's going through the air this way. And right in the very front, probably can't see that, but there's little particles concussing with this one, making it grow. And as it does, it will flip to the back and that one will come to the front and absorb. And then it'll flip and then it'll flip and it'll flip and it'll flip and, it'll flip and, it'll flip and that's what's called a muon wobble. This is photons. I'm going to show you a series of pictures that shows an atomic bomb. This is all the mass and this is all the energy. When this first starts out before it explodes, all the black is on the inside and the white surrounds it and all the white goes out first, then the black comes. And the white is the only part that has the energy. The black is just, is, is, uh, um, just momentum, it's just mass. And here, here it is happening right here. This is atomic bomb going off. That's a test house. This is when it just, boom. And everything, is, everything in the air is glowing. Everything's glowing. Now the next shot will be right here. And the, the house just starts to smoke up. You see smoke starts coming out. The pole starts smoking. The wires start smoking. But they don't go anywhere. They're just smoking. That's the white is hitting and concussing. Now, watch what happens next. It just continues to smoke. It just burns up. Look at it. it just, it's, it's not pushing anything. It's just smoking up. Because the massless particles, the white particles, have no mass. They don't push. They just burn. And that's exactly what happened. This thing burned. All of the combustibles are gone. And then the heavy duty stuff comes in and blows it away. And here's when the black particles come, boom, there it goes. Before that it was just the white particles making it glow. It never moved it even an inch. It's just fumed like that. Now, boom, there it goes. So that indicates quite obviously there's two different, different particles, which we know there's two different particles anyway. We've already separated them. Here they are separated. Right there, they separated right there. This is white. There's no push here. There's nothing. That's just that's raw energy. That's what you put in your batteries. This we should be able to harvest it right here. And I came up with an idea for a little device, which you might be able to harvest it. And Lawrence Livermore and all of them are doing the same thing. They realize you can take these low energy electron showers coming through, and they start to they turn into high energy automatically by themselves. The muons which is the black particle, stays this side. The electron showers come through and make all the white particles, and that's exactly what we had. And here's the device. You have the, the laser, but they could be tiny, tiny, tiny. You could have thousands of them in here, really. And they would go through the venturi and be collected on the other side with a little solar collector. Pump it down into your batteries, use a little bit of it to keep it going, and you're good to go. And that could be carried around in a little box like that. If this works, this is the solution to our problems, but it's been rejected to even be looked at. And this is what happens. Light in space or in mass, this could be a proton. Think of this as a proton. The center is the black star. Surrounding it is all the white particles. That's why we've never seen the black inside. All you can see is the white surrounding it. This was done in space with charged particles. It's virtually identical to what happens with the photons here on Earth. Now here's the particle right here. These are neutrinos and they're gaining energy and becoming other types of neutrinos and then into the photon phase and then explode it. Now that's the red. The green is identical. Neutrino phase, photon phase. It's just faster. It's more energetic. And if we can create electron showers, which I just showed you, we can. Right there. Electron showers. That's these right here. 
if we can collect, correct, if we can make those and control those, which we can, we can run this all day long, all day long, and never even stop. We can control it depending upon the venturi, the construction of the venturi, and we can focus it in on a harvester that will absorb that energy right here. And we got free energy. As far as I'm concerned, I don't see any reason why this shouldn't work. I, I cannot do this myself. I don't have the facilities and the ability to go any further than what I've just shown you. But I can tell you one thing for a fact, no question whatsoever. The black pushes the white. You see the black here? That pushes the white. The white is just glowing like crazy. That's where all your energy is and where the white is. And we want that white. We don't want the black coming with it. We want the black to stay on the other side, which we did. We had it over here. I showed it. The black stays here. There's no black here. It's not even a taste. Nothing. It's zero. You put a harvester right here. You grab all that electron showers. Well, you put, we want to put it the furthest away, <coughs> excuse me, before they come, recombine. That's where you're going to get your most shower. Because it gains energy as it, as it gets further out. And then it tapers off because it gets sucked back into the block. See these right here? These are the Diarac neutrinos and the Majorna neutrinos. All it means is these ones are the fully formed um, photons. Basically, I'll show you in a second, black and white. And these are the neutrino types. And here it is right here. These are the, you'd call, you'd call them Majorna. They're neutrinos, but they're not really fully formed photons, which are the Diaracs just two different styles of impact. This is sort of not really functioning as a full photon yet. That's all that's all that matters. Alright, so that's what th these are the tiniest particles that exist, they know that. And CERN also says they're the tiniest particles that exist and they know that. Right here. These are the two tiniest particles they can find. This is one here they call the point particle. It glows and it gets tiny and it glows and has all the energy and no mass. That has all the mass and it's fixed. It never gets big, never gets small, never gets any different size than that. That's it. And that's why we see them as, as little balls. These are little, they're all the same size balls. It's just that we have such finely tuned Venturi that they can't get through along with the white. The white is the only thing that's squirt through. This is a solution to free energy right here. 